Welcome to the longest running, the original, the only trilingual Filipino Chinese lifestyle magazine show, Chinatown TV. I'm your host, Candice Tan. This movie themed cafe reflects the needs of their growing customer base, so they made sure to incorporate dining options for them. With their spacious dining area and a customizable menu, they can do so much more and be an ideal venue for different types of events. The Cinema 76 Cafe has officially opened its new home here at Tomas Morato to the public with a brand new menu inspired by global flavors and of course, cinema. 电影七十六咖啡厅为客人提供了一种高级休闲的就餐体验，它为客人精心制作了丰富的美食菜单，从美味可口的食物到最受欢迎的小吃，以及各种手工制作的饮料等，混合咖啡饮料将开启你美好的
，他说历史文化遗产是一个国家文明破坏了一件，就地球上就没有了一件。他把保护文物提高到了国家法律的层面，任何个人和单位都不能触碰，啊、呃，都不能以私人的目的，呃，破坏文物，没有商量的。The team worked under great pressure until it finally found important archaeological evidence, 1.7 meters underground, an artificial stone paving and drainage trench. 古建筑专家，他来考察完以后，说这个遗址非常重要，因为当时的人们已经懂得如何改善自己的居住环境。鱼在。海峡对岸的台湾岛发现的旧石器时代晚期的遗址，出土的文化遗存有很大的相似性，可以建立起文化的链接。所以，小小的海峡不足以隔断两岸之间文化的交流和人员的往来。现在如此，过去。As soon as they retrieved the objects from the Wan Shou Yan site, the archaeological team rushed to Beijing and invited Jia Lanpo, the leading archaeologist who was more than 90 years old, to have a look. Jia presided over the excavation of the Peking Man site in Zhou Kou Dian. He 一件一件的摸，他视力很差了，就是对着石器这样子摸摸摸，是的，是的，是的，是的，都是这些，都是，都是，都是，哇，非常的兴奋。非常高兴，并且马上就在鉴定书上给我们提字，说这个遗址非常重要，必须保护。我们后来就拿着这个鉴定回来，就给领导他们去协调。At that time, the Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill leaders were also under pressure, as they had acquired the mining rights in the 1970s. Because Wan Shou Yan is rich in limestone, an important material in steel making. Sunmin Iron Ore Company is a big mining company. If you have the rights to mine, then its production will stop. So at that time, the Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill leaders were under pressure. Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill leaders were under pressure. Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill leaders were under pressure. Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill leaders were under pressure. Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill leaders were under pressure. Xi's instructions saved Wan Shou Yan at the beginning of 2000, and the Sunmin Iron and Steel Mill was always on his mind as well. Later, he went to the mill in person to conduct field research. Focusing on medium and long-term development, she suggested that the factory could take the path of sustainable development through scientific and technological innovation, reducing energy consumption. The story of the archaeological site and the mill in Sanming is actually a vivid demonstration of Xi's words to protect cultural relics and develop production. In Fujian, I worked for so many years. 这里的山山水水啊，一草一木，我还是深有感情的，啊，也确实呢，在这里工作时候的一些思考和探索，实际上在我后来的工作中，包括到中央的工作中啊，仍在思考和深化。In Xi Jinping's mind, cultural relics and cultural heritage carry the genes and blood of the Chinese nation and are non-renewable and irreplaceable resources of Chinese civilization. How can more historical sites avoid life and death moments like Wan Shou Yan did through institutional guarantees and top-level design? In September 2020, while presiding over a group study session of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee, she proposed to improve the protection mechanism for immovable cultural relics and incorporate the protection and Management of cultural relics into the formulation and implementation of territorial planning. Xin Kao Wu Hou Chu Rang in the land of the Chu Rang before we begin our Kao Wu work. In the Chu Rang, the owners of the Chu Rang are protected by the land of the Chu Rang. There will not be any problems. In President Xi Jinping's view, cultural relics are valuable legacies from our ancestors. We must properly handle the relationship between urban reconstruction and development in the protection and utilization of historical and cultural heritage, and ensure that urban development and heritage protection are well coordinated.
So the Cinema 76 brand is actually being operated by TBA Studios. So TBA Studios is the producer of Henera Luna, the box office hit Henera Luna, and among other films like I'm Drunk, I Love You, Sunday Beauty Queen, and among others. Uh, we're operating Cinema 76 Cafe and Cinema 76 Film Society. It's a cinema and there's a restaurant beside it. Yeah, it's which is really cool. Is this your only branch here at Thomas Morocco? Yes, so of, before we were situated in Luna Mancias, uh, pre-pandemic, and then um, we opened another branch in Anonas. But come 2020, we had to close everything down. We have to lay off a lot of, uh, of our employees. And then now uh, we're back in business now in Thomas Morocco. That's amazing. So what kind of movies do you show here at Cinema 76 Cafe? Yeah, so in Cinema 76 Film Society, we show all sorts of movies. We show Marvel movies, Disney movies, the Warner Brothers picture, and also independent local movies. It really depends on uh, what's the release. Uh, what are the new titles and of course the award-winning films that we, we show. Okay, so usually how many movies do you have in a day and what are your, what's your opening hour? Okay, so we only have one screen, no? we have one screen, it's with 62-seater and so programming the titles are quite challenging for us. As much as possible, we would like to program you know, a couple of films a day. We make uh, time for two to three films in a day, but sometimes we only show one film. So it really depends on the season, depends on the release date. So we really have to stick to your social media and see what are your schedules. You usually let us know in advance. Yes, we do. Um, unlike other cinemas, they usually post their schedules like a few days before the release date. So I'm in the we post it uh, one oh, week uh, before. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. or like five to four days mm -hmm. before the release day, so All right. we post it. Yeah. And I also realized that you guys are very updated because right now it's showing Super Mario. And right now, nationwide cinemas, we are also showing Super Mario. So are you guys connected to the MTRCB? So whatever they're showing, you guys are also showing it? A very good thing that we would like to tell our audience that uh, Cinema 76 Film Society is, um, we have the MTRCB permit of showcasing movies, meaning we're legit cinema, because the other people will say, oh, they have a cinema, and they just thought that parang, it's just a screening room. Yeah. yeah, no, but we're really a cinema. You buy a ticket, you pay a ticket for the general admission, and then you just come and watch. The movies, it depends no, on the rating. There are like PG, R13, or R16. We have to abide by the rules. 
exactly. legit cinema. Okay, yes, it's legit yeah, cinema yeah. here at Cinema yeah. 76 Cafe. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the food. You know, okay. What are your specialties? Because it's a cafe, so our menu are curated for uh, most of the food that you can bring inside the cinema. Yes. Yeah. So actually, all the drinks you can bring in the cinema, like even one. cocktails or coffee drinks or shakes, um, our specialty food, we have our TBA Studios box office pasta. It's with wow. shimeji mushroom, with sun-dried tomatoes and chorizo. It's olive oil-based pasta. We also have steak. It's an Argentinian steak. Wow. We also have salmon and salad. Okay. And then um, truffle potato wedges, mm -hmm. which you can bring inside the cinema. And of course, we have homemade or in-house made truffle caramel popcorn. Wow, oh yes, my goodness. So, hindi mawawala yung popcorn yeah, because it's a cinema setting. Exactly, yes. like the caramel popcorn really bought me because <laughs> usually when you go to movie houses here in Manila, you don't get to see caramel yes. popcorn. So they have it here. Um, the Cinema 76 Cafe is open daily. So Sunday to Thursday, we're open from 9 a.m. to 12 midnight. And then Friday and Saturday, we're open from 9 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. Mm. So those who would want to come out and chill until, you know, 2.30 in the morning, you yes. guys can come here. Exactly. Yeah, and we're situated in um, Tomas Morato Corner, Scout Boromeo. Mm. The cinema side, our show times uh, start at 2 p.m. usually, but it really depends on the total running time per movie. Okay. So sometimes we open at 11 a.m., mm -hmm. 12, mm -hmm. but um, mostly it's 2 p.m. until like 11 p.m. Okay. But the cinema is closed on Mondays. All right. Yeah. I have another question though. Um, usually your movies, do you guys provide subtitles? Some of the movies that we acquire uh, as distributor from the TBA studio side, we usually do get films with subtitles. Lalo na those who are um, not pure English language films. Some of them are like German film, mm -hmm. a Chinese yeah. film we also show. Those, they really do have English subtitles. But um, if it's provided by the other distributors, um, some of them they really don't have. So because it's a worldwide uh, release. Got it, all right. Because I've always wondered how come like when I go abroad, they always have subtitles. Yes. But like um, most of the movie houses that I go to, they don't have subtitles. Yes. So even when the actors, whenever they speak, it's in English, but it gets too soft. Yes. They don't even know what they're talking about. Yes. So I'm sure a lot of our televiewers would really want to come here. So can you please invite them? So we're inviting you to come and enjoy an experience of the cinema experience. So it's really the best way to watch a movie inside the theater with the surround sound. So come here to uh, Cinema 76 Film Society and also Cinema 76 Cafe. So even if you don't want to watch a movie, you just can come here and you know eat or drink or chill. And I think it's really a cool place to hang out. Exactly, and you've got a wide array of cocktails as yes. well. So you can really stay until midnight. And wow, I'm really excited to try out your dishes as well as to check out the cinema house later on. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now, Chinatown TV viewers, here are our other segments for today. Hello. Okay, so there's some people outside. They are waiting to watch Super Mario inside the cinema. As you can see, they have your poster and that are Luna, which is from them. Wow, everything, everywhere, all fun. Super Mario and Goyo. So, think that's not the cinema. Okay, wow, I'm speechless. I love it. It's so clean. So legit, like, so cool. And look at all the seats. It's fee sitting, by the way. So, if you have your friends, your family, you guys can come here and enjoy. And here's just a tip they say the best view is at the Pinaka Park. So, here at natin. Is it really the best? Yes! Perfect! Perfect eye level view. And of course, if you come here, you have to order their truffle caramel popcorn! So good. Talagang each, each one of these popcorn has fully coated caramel. Heaven! <laughs> so good. It's like Director's Club. Hi, 
kan pino itu posisi ngai ngara nanti doa go sa fa hai chan po sa kawin kan du ra nang beijing atu dur ka sing ang isa sa ta trung pina kan magan dang miu ro nang china ting nan yin yo ido a miu ro nang pininta na ma hing kit anim narang ta on na karibas Pero hanggang sa ngayon, maniwanag pa rin ang mga gulay. At makikita ninyo pa ang blood capillary ng pulang soro o red fox. At mistulang umaakos ang tuko. Ano ang sikredo ng pagpapanatili ng mga gulay? Ang sakot ay nasa pigment. Ang lahat ng gulay na kinamit ng mga pintor ay karing sa mineral. Na kaya ng malachite, sinaba, lazurite. Kaya nga matipay ang mga pintura, parang patola. Pagkat yan, napakagaling ng kasanayan ng pintor. Harimbawa, pinakuukulan ng pansing ang ghost kerchief ng goddess na to. Kung didina sa malayo, parang transparent. Pero sa totoo lang, ito ay punong-puno ng haksak no flower. na pinupuo ng apat ng but walong kinindoang ninya. Ngayon, ang mural sa Fahai Temple ay naging national treasure at tinakuriya isa sa tatrong pinakamagandang mural ng China. Kasama ng Tunghuang Fresco sa probinsyang Gansu at yung Le Palace murals sa probinsyang Shanxi. Sa labas ng main building ng Fahai Temple, merong dalawang white bark de pine na may mahingkit isang lipon taong gulang na. At sila ay parang dalawang panday na madapat na pinoprotektahan ang mga pinta sa mahapang panahon. Pagkadabos ng pagbisida sa Fahai Temple, huwag kalimudang daanan ang Fahai Temple Mural Art Center. Sa dulong ng modernong light and shadow technology at video clip, step by step na ipinakita ang proseso ng pagkakatatak ng Fahai Temple at mga skill na inatop ng mga pintor sa pagpinta ng mural. March 12th is the annual tree planting day in China. But for Chen Yanxian and her colleagues, who worked at Sai Han Ba in the 1960s, every day is tree planting day. In 1962, about 400 young people arrived at Sai Han Ba and became its first generation foresters. Thanks to the hard work by Chen Yanxian and her colleagues, as well as several generations of foresters after her, Saihan Ba has been transformed from a barren desert into the world's largest artificial forest. It was championed as a green miracle and recognized by the United Nations. Is China's Saihan Ba a forestation community? Please join me in welcoming their representative, Madam Chin Yashim. <laughs> 这一百万亩真的是人工林造的吗 can inspire all of us Fantastic achievement for the people of Sambal, for the 
by the northern China, but also an inspiring example for the rest of the world. About three years later, on an afternoon in August 2021, a special group of visitors arrived at the forestry site. President Xi also visited a lookout tower deep in the forest to learn more about the foresters' daily work from a ranger couple. To keep the forest safe from fire, forest rangers here conduct safety checks every 15 minutes during the day and every hour at night. They are called the eyes of the forest. My in 2021, Saihanba Foresters won the Land for Life Award, the United Nations' highest honor for desertification control. watching Chinatown TV. I'm your host Candice Dan and wow Daphne I am so overwhelmed by all of these dishes here right in front of me. I don't even know which you know which which dish I'm going to start first because everything looks so tasty. Yes and they all taste good. <laughs> oh yeah definitely. Now let's try it out. You know I'm really curious about you know this one. It's really cool that you guys have popcorn on top. So what do you call this drink? So that is a Cinema 76 hot latte. So it comes with, you know, almond um, there. Set up, no? <laughs> so it comes with almond syrup and it's topped with caramel uh, popcorn. I love it. It has a very nutty flavor as well as the sweetness of the popcorn. Can you tell me more about this dish over here? Okay, so that is a waffle witch. So we served you uh, shrimp and truffle egg. Uh, waffle witch. 
shrimp and truffle egg. Yes. Wow, I realize you guys love truffle in your dishes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I gotta make sure I have a little bit of waffle. Yes. Oh, what's the cream inside? That's coming from the egg, like mayonnaise, special mayonnaise sauce. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah. Mm. The waffle's really fluffy. I like the freshness of the shrimp, as well as a little bit sour enough of the mayonnaise. Yeah. It's really good. So you also got your potato wedge. And that's one of the dish that you can bring it into the ah, cinema. Okay. Potatoes. So can you actually bring all of these dishes? Um, not really all because some are really messy to eat. But let me try the sauce first. What sure. sauce is this? That is a garlic mayo. Garlic mayo. Mmm. Fantastic. I love it. Okay, speaking of this one, yes. what do you call so this So that is chorizo cheese karaoke. So it's actually with chorizo with cheese. Mm -hmm. um, it's like croquetas, but we call it karaoke because it's like a medio Japanese uh, inspired. Oh. Yeah. So it's very surprising inside. It's like crunchy on the outside and it's like soft, mm -hmm. like and creamy, creamy on the inside. Yeah. I love it. Like it has that crunchiness to the outside. But once you bite into it. You can really chew the chorizo in it. Wow, I really love the pick of flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Okay, so that is our steak. Um, so we call it steak and fries. Ooh, steak and fries. Yeah. So you go, you've got chimichurri on top? Chimichurri, yes. Chimichurri and this is our Argentinian steak. Argentinian steak, yes. So we usually do it um, medium rare. Unless the customer requests for medium well or well done. The flavor is really packed. It's also very tender. And I love how there's a chimichurri on top. Okay, let's move on to this one. What is this one? Okay, so that is our beef salpicao. And then this is the gambas and chorizo. So our menu actually is curated and designed by Chef Jean Gonzalez and Chef Gino Gonzalez. So a little story behind that is that um, our founders, uh, Mr. Ortigas and Mr. Rocha, are habitus of Cafe Sabel. So they really like the food there. And so they put um, beef salpicao and gabas and chorizo into an, our menu because that's one of our favorites in Cafe Sabel. Oh, okay. So, so this it's, is... it's actually a similarity from what they're serving. So Amazing. So this is really, you know, our owner's recommendation. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's first start with the salpicao. So let's get a little bit of their mushroom as well as the beef as well. Of course, you gotta get in a little bit of the sauce and one mouthful of this. I hope it's soft, tender. It is. Yeah. It's like pillow. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I love it. I love the garlicky flavor as well. Together with the you know, the olive oilness to it. I love and then that. the garlic, you can taste the crunchiness mm -hmm. of the garlic. Exactly. So that's why this is so special. Yeah. It really tastes really good. So to our viewers, next time you come here, you can just order the beef salpicao and or the gambas and chorizo. And then you just order rice on the side. It's really good. Um, it's one of my favorite as well. So I just use the sauce of the beef salpicao and the gambas and chorizo and then put it into the rice. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's, it's from maulam siya, right? Yes. So in Chinese, it's pei fan cai. Yes, perfect. <laughs> now let's try their gambas. Before we dig into it, I just want to comment on how I'm so grateful that your shrimps are, you know, you're very generous. generous yes. Yeah, like giving us a shrimp. Usually when I go out there in other restaurants, sobrang konti lang, like just three, four, yeah. five pieces. But this is like a lot. So you're really getting your money's worth. Yes. And what is this meat on top? That is chorizo. Oh, chorizo. What's so I, I noticed you um, commented about, you know, truffle and, you know, chorizo because our kitchen is very small. So we try to be creative with whatever ingredients we have. And so we just create, you know, new dishes. Um, that has recurring uh, ingredients. Mmm, mom, there's a kick to this. It's spicy. <laughs> it's actually good for pulutan also. If you like drink beer, like cocktails, yeah. These are very top of food as well. Like peijiu, So if you have like your beer or your you know cocktail, your wine, 
tastes really good. I know like my dad, whenever he eats, like he drinks alcohol, he really likes it with something like salty, right? So this is it, this is the one to order. Okay, now I've been eyeing that since a while ago because it looks so good. So can you tell me more about this one? Okay, so that is actually, I think we have three, um, three serve, I mean three offerings of sandwiches. They're all chicken, mm -hmm. but that one you're holding right now is called uh, Del Pilar sandwich. Okay. We named our sandwiches to the three heroes. Okay. So it's Luna, Del Pilar, and Quezon. So that is our, hopefully our trilogy on the hero uh, biopic. Yeah, so that is Del Pilar. Is it because Del Pilar likes this recipe? Um, not really, but I think that's um, the best seller among the three. And we all know Del Pilar is a very handsome guy. So I think that uh, the taste of the crunchy adobo cakes Ah, okay. Chicken adobo okay. Cakes will resonate to that. All right. And the, uh, <laughs> okay. <pound of> <laughs> That's why I've been wondering. I was like, what meat is this? It's yes, chicken, chicken adobo chicken, pala. Yes. And then here, naman, it's, it's with, with um, hard red, egg. salted egg. Oh, salted yes. egg with tomato. Salted egg relish. Okay, so get try that then. Mm. It's so fluffy. Mm, I really love how the savory chicken adobo complements with the salted egg with tomato. But it's such a such a beautiful blend in my mouth. It's like almost melts in my mouth. We plate it really pres uh, presentable. Yes. We make sure that we have uh, consistent good service mm -hmm. so that um, sulit the, exactly. the price. <laughs> and now let's move on to your salmon dish. Okay, so what's so special about this salmon? So actually, um, with our menu, we have very little uh, fish offering. So we only have this salmon and salad. So th for those who want, you know, medyo hearty food, we would recommend with this. And this is always fresh. I took one bite of that salmon and I know it's quality salmon because it has the fats to it. Yeah. So you had omega, omega-3. And it's a big slice. Unlike, yeah, you know, the very... other restaurants, they would only give mm -hmm. you like it's a just like half of it. Yes. But this is you got the whole fillet. Wow, amazing. Mm -hmm. With a charred salmon, you have something fresh to top with it. And this one, what is okay, this one? So this is our bestseller, um, bestseller. PPA Studios box office pass. Box office pasta. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's an olive oil based pasta. Mm -hmm. It comes with, you know, again, chorizo, okay. which you mentioned mushroom, mm -hmm. sun dried tomatoes, mm -hmm. and topped with parmesan cheese. Okay, let's try. Mm. Mm. It, it feels like an aglio aglio pasta. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But together with the chorizo, with the parmesan, as well as the, the mushroom. So it gives in another unique flavor to it. Super masara. And again, super generous Very. <laughs> plating. Very. Okay, and then we of have Of course, we have a chef staple um, natural granny. For movies as well? Um, this yeah. one is for dining. We have an option for, uh, for inside the cinema. It's called nachos and dips. But that is without the topping. Okay. Yeah, so we want to make our cinema also clean enough ah, okay. for, for the viewers to enjoy. Go. Just like what the nachos should get. <laughs> Super good. It's perfect for parties, you know. Yeah. Pika for pika sharing. food. Yeah. So yeah. this one is um I think this is one of my favorite as well. It's okay. called uh, cornflakes chicken. Cornflake chicken with waffle. So it's our uh, version of chicken and waffle. Ooh, yeah. But it's made out of corn flakes. Yes, so this is with maple syrup with a bit of, you know, chili chili powder Ooh, on okay. top. Wow, that's that's super cool. Yes. Maple syrup together with chili. I yes. wonder how it tastes like. So. Now let's try it out. Let's pour yes. it. Okay, and then let's try it out. So, again, try not so we to... usually offer this for kids. For kids? Yeah, because they really come here and then they look for... Uh, Fried chicken. You can really taste the crispiness of the cornflake. Okay. So super iba yung breading nila. So it really has that 
crunch. Breakfast cereal chicken. Yeah. <laughs> but which is very popular right now. People usually love having corn flakes yeah. on their dishes. And then let's try the waffles. And what is this, butter? Yes, that's butter. Okay, oh, I love butter so much. <laughs> let's get a little bit of the waffle. Thank you. <laughs> so our waffle is a bit sweet though, it's, uh, it's Belgian waffle, but it complements all the dishes like, you know, the savory shrimp and truffle egg waffle witch. And this one is also savory, the corn flake chicken. Mm -hmm. And then your waffle is a little bit like, it has like a twinge of sweetness to it, yeah. which I really love because me personally, I love mixing savory with something sweet. Yes. So this is like the perfect dish for that one. And then this is um this is actually the same but it's a different variant. This chicken casino. Okay. Um, but we can try this. Let's Imagine try the crepe first. So, okay. so this crepe is actually called um, the Elvis Presley crepe. Oh my goodness, Elvis Presley, my <laughs> <Yeah>. favorite. <laughs> Elvis Presley crepe. Yeah. Why is that? So because uh, this is Elvis, uh, Elvis Presley's favorite, um, he, o he always requests for banana and uh, peanut butter with bacon mix. Exactly, so I like, knew it! The yeah. sandwich bread, but you guys turned it into crab. PB&J. Yeah. PB&J. This one's close to my heart because yeah. I'm a big fan of Elvis Presley. And I've tried the mix of peanut butter, <laughs> bacon, and banana. And banana. <gasps> okay, wow, I'm so excited. This like is blueberry? a strawberry, ah, uh, strawberry drizzle. drizzle. Okay, let's a little bit of the cream. Mm. <laughs> oh God. I love how smooth the texture of the crepe is. The peanut butter, banana is definitely there. It adds into the sweetness as well as the saltiness of the flake bacon. So it's really a wonderful meal. Mm, this is your dessert now. Yes. We also serve this as breakfast. Uh, we can, yeah. Actually, all of our menu are all available kahit breakfast time. Mmm, so brown good. I love it. Just so we it. have a wide, very wide variety of food. Um, you, have, you want main course, to starters, to snacks, to sweet and to, you know, savory. spicy, savory. Mm -hmm. we, all, we have it all. Okay, we had so much fun since kanina pa, right? Yeah. Kanina is already getting dark. And I'm sure that there's going to be a new movie coming out that you can watch. And Shempre, you need to get the popcorn. And then here at Cinema 76, you guys have the truffle caramel yes. popcorn. I was so amazed seeing this because you barely get caramel popcorns in movie houses right now. So let me try it. I love it. It's just so good. Thank you so much, Daphne, for known for sharing with me all these wonderful dishes. I had a, such a great time and wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yes. And now here are our other segments for today that you may watch. The Chihang Temple Charity Foundation Philippines Incorporated held a press conference on the construction of the Tsihang Bridge. Nanhai Putuo Shan Xia Yuan, Philippine Tsihang Chan Si Ji Xing, Xing Jian Tsihang Gu Chao Xing Wen Wa Bu Hui. Nanhai Putuo Shan Xia Yuan, Philippine Tsihang Chan Si, Yu Erling Er San Yan Si Yu Er Si Yu Ri Xia Wu Chi Dian, Jia Zuo Shi Ji Hai Xing Jiu Jia. 隆重举行新建古桥新闻发布会菲律宾慈航禅寺发起人
、菲律宾中国商会会长洪吉祥、旅菲各校友会联合会主席林国霄等先后致辞。杨端生居士在致辞中表示，慈航古桥于2022年7月24日开工，基础设施建设正在施工中。古桥宽7米，跨度长12米，四周通道宽 2.2 米，总长度600米左右。是菲律宾独一无二、最具中国特色的文化古桥。由于河流长期无人管理，污泥浊水积聚，卫生隐患极大，所以清理河床、加固桥基成为重中之重。这个工程需要数目巨大的建筑资金，他诚恳地邀请有缘的善心人士、社会团体鼎力相助，共同为社会做贡献，为建设慈航古桥尽绵薄之力。道元法师在致辞中代表普陀山道慈大和尚，感恩飞华各界社团侨领对慈航禅寺的大力支持和慷慨奉献，愿塔寺和古桥早日建成。马尼拉市副市长 u s e r v o n e t o 在致辞中对慈航禅寺发起新建慈航宝塔、慈航禅寺和慈航古桥的三合一华人区地标建筑表示充分的赞扬和肯定，并表示。马尼拉市政府将全力支持，愿建成后成为马尼拉华人区一处著名的旅游景点，为马尼拉市增加无限的光彩和知名度。新闻发布会期间，由副市长 u s e r v o n e t o 向杨端真发起人颁发马尼拉市政府暨市议会新建慈航古桥文件，最后由陈飞南居士公布新建慈航古桥热心捐款者方名。当晚，出席者也纷纷捐献善款，鼎力支持新建慈航古桥这一功在当代、利在千秋的善举。China Daily News 非洲新闻台综合报道。The PCCCII Guangxi Chapter and the Philippine Guangxi Commercial Association Incorporated held a celebration of its establishment and first officer's induction ceremony. 菲律宾中国商会广西分会。广西总商会举行庆祝成立暨首届职员就职典礼。二零二三年四月二十三日晚。菲律宾中国商会广西分会、菲律宾广西总商会成立庆典在马尼拉东海皇宫酒店盛大召开，现场嘉宾云集，高朋满座，气氛热烈，喜气洋洋。广西分会创会会长、大会主席蔡宏宇、监视员、菲律宾中国商会会长洪吉祥、中国驻菲律宾大使馆市委建领事、广西壮族自治区从左市市委常委、副市长甄建伟。大会主讲人、菲律宾中国商会总会名誉会长王长沙、菲律宾中国商会总会常务副会长、第八届后任会长侯世炼、广西分会首届会长蒋福佳、执行会长罗逸飞、菲律宾工贸部助理部长 g l e n G. p a n a r a n d a 飞华商联总会副理事长吴启发、飞华各界联合会副主席蔡永宁、菲律宾海岸警卫队王海珍少将。广西分会常务副会长赵福安，飞华社会各友好社团领导，新闻媒体，菲律宾中国商会广西分会，菲律宾广西总商会全体成员共八百余人参加了本次庆典活动。在祥石县瑞营造出的喜庆吉祥氛围中，广西分会首届全体会员举行了庄重肃穆的入场，赢得了全场嘉宾的阵阵掌声。随后，全体与会人员肃立，奏唱《非中两国国歌》，菲律宾中国商会会歌。广西分会创会会长、大会主席蔡宏宇率先致辞，讲述了商会创建的起心动念以及筹备会的工作过程，表达了对中国商会总会领导的支持的感谢。随后进行了宣誓就职仪式，监视员和大会主席向新任会长颁发印信。大会监视员、菲律宾中国商会会长、广西分会常务指导员洪吉祥做监视员训诲。洪吉祥会长表示，菲律宾中国商会广西分会、菲律宾广西总商会的成立，不仅仅是旅菲广西籍同胞的喜事，也是飞华社会的大喜事。相信商会一定能够成为推动非中两国经贸合作、文化交流的重要力量。广西分会首届会长蒋福佳表示，深感众人在监使命光荣，今后定当尽心竭力，不辱使命。商会成立后，与所有的会员一起同心协力，全力以赴。
不断创造会务工作的新局面。广西分会首届执行会长罗逸飞介绍主讲人，菲律宾中国商会总会名誉会长王长沙。王长沙先生在主讲人的致辞中表示，商会的成立是一带一路背景下非中两国经贸合作的累累硕果之一。中国驻菲律宾大使馆领事施伟健代表大使馆致辞，菲律宾工贸部助理部长 g l e n G. p a n a r a n d a 代表当地政府致辞，飞华商联总会副理事长吴启发和飞华各界联合会副主席蔡永宁代表飞华友好社团发言，菲律宾中国商会江西分会会长许俊华代表菲律宾中国商会分会致辞。庆典现场向大会主席、监视员、大使馆代表、主讲人、友好社团代表、政要代表等颁发感谢状，以感谢大家对菲律宾中国商会广西分会、菲律宾广西总商会首届庆典大会的鼎力支持，向常务指导员、指导员及荣誉会长们颁发聘致证书。福利金捐赠环节，菲律宾中国商会总会洪吉祥会长分别向菲律宾中国商会广西分会、菲律宾广西总商会捐赠福利金五十万比索、二十万比索。主讲人王长沙、荣誉会长王海珍、菲律宾中国商会河南分会、河北分会筹备会、山东分会筹备会、重庆分会、内蒙古分会筹备会、黑龙江分会筹备会、江苏分会、江西分会、东西黑人省分会、苗东岸省分会筹备会。德桥门窗公司、DMX 铝合金公司分别向广西分会捐赠福利金，菲律宾酒文化研究会向广西分会捐赠精美酒具一套。活动现场，广西分会的领导和成员们集体上场，在台上一同演唱广西民歌，将本次庆典的氛围推向最高潮。同时，抽奖产生了三百五十名幸运获奖者。庆典最后由广西分会常务副会长赵福安致谢词。本次庆典由非中电视台《夜蓝天》及夜天会共同主持。非中新闻台综合报道。The PCCCII Chongqing Chapter and the Chongqing Chamber of Commerce held a celebration of its establishment and first officer's induction ceremony. 菲律宾中国商会重庆分会重庆商会举行庆祝成立暨首届职员就职典礼。二零二三年四月二十二日晚，菲律宾中国商会重庆分会、菲律宾重庆商会甲座东海皇宫酒家隆重举行庆祝成立，暨首届理事会职员就职典礼。飞华友好团体嘉宾、代表等应邀出席典礼仪式。创会会长张亮担任大会主席并致辞。他表示，重庆分会刚刚成立，作为创会会长，他将继承中国商会总部由来已久的担当和责任，热心公益，做好表率，并将带领该会成员守望相助、团结协作，努力传承中华文化，推动在中非经济、科技、文化等领域的交流合作。菲律宾中国商会总会会长洪吉祥担任监视员，见证印信移交并训会。首届会长廖勇在致辞中表示，菲律宾及东盟发展中国家的投资机会很多，商会的压力和责任也会越来越大。作为重庆商会首任会长，他将尽职担责，以桥为桥，捐建渔飞合作桥梁，在中国使馆和总会的领导下，开展并做好工作。首届会长廖勇担任妇女组宣誓监视员，妇女组主任黄新春致辞。菲律宾中国商会总会名誉会长吴启发担任大会主讲人，中国驻菲律宾大使馆施伟健领事，菲律宾国会议员 Congressman Eliandro Jesus Madrona 出席并致辞。大明区警署行动副署长 Jack w a n k i 警官，飞华商联总会副理事长施芷云。飞华各界联合会副主席李鸿明，菲律宾志工党总部主席姚金正，分会代表安徽分会会长张俊清等先后致辞。期间颁赠感谢盾牌于大会主席张亮、监视员洪吉祥、主讲人吴启发，以及颁发聘职盾牌和感谢盾牌与多位领导同仁，然后举行福利金捐赠仪式。
场务副会长柳明亮致谢词，场务副会长许杰超介绍主讲人，李美玲担任大会司仪并介绍主宾席宾主。典礼仪式之后，进行了聚餐、祝酒、抽奖以及娱乐节目表演。非洲新闻台综合报道。Chinese Embassy in the Philippines held the 2023 International Chinese Language Day. 中国驻菲律宾使馆举办2023年国际中文日暨大使走进公立中学活动。据中国驻菲律宾使馆消息，四月十九号，由中国驻菲律宾大使馆主办，红西里市大学孔子学院承办的“体验中文之美，增进文明对话”二零二三年国际中文日暨大使走进公立中学活动，在马尼拉和塞阿巴德桑托斯公立中学举行。中国驻菲律宾大使黄希莲，菲律宾副众议长罗伯托·普诺。菲律宾教育部国际合作司司长玛格丽塔·巴列斯特罗斯博士，红西里市大学副校长何塞·马卡帕加尔，何塞·阿巴德桑托斯公立中学校长埃琳娜·雷耶斯博士，驻菲使馆教育参赞熊胜，政治处参赞郑君旅。
洪西里士大学孔子学院师生，何塞阿巴德桑托斯公立中学汉语项目师生，部分媒体代表等近四百人参加了此次活动。黄大使指出，中文作为联合国官方语言之一，为促进世界沟通交流做出了积极贡献。国际中文日是世界各国感知中国的独特平台，促进了世界语言文化的交流互鉴。语言是推动人类文明进步的重要力量，中方愿同非方推进中文教育，让世界文明生机盎然。黄大使表示，近年来在菲律宾众议院和参议院开设的中文培训项目，不仅提供了一个中文学习的平台。而且为菲律宾官员们打开了一个了解中国语言和文化魅力的窗口，打开了一扇促进中非文明对话之门。欢迎更多菲律宾青少年学习中文，让中非友好代代相传。普诺副众议长表示，菲律宾特殊语言项目的推广，为菲律宾中学生打开了一扇了解中国文化的大门。并相信，新冠疫情后，在中国驻菲律宾大使馆的支持下，菲律宾的中文教育将很快恢复正常。菲律宾和中国的友谊将会永远持续下去。马卡帕加尔副校长表示，洪西里士大学已成为菲律宾中文教育事业的重要组成部分，未来也将继续支持菲律宾公立中学的中文教学，使菲律宾中文教育事业更上一个新台阶。通过促进菲律宾的中学生学习汉语和了解中国文化，增进非中两国青少年之间的友谊，德耶斯校长代表何塞阿巴德桑托斯公立中学欢迎各位嘉宾前来一同庆祝国际中文日，表示这有助于促进使用多种语言和文化多样性。随着非中关系的发展。学习中文将有助于学生提升对不同文化的理解及全球竞争力。活动上，何塞阿巴德桑托斯公立中学汉语项目学生表演了中文歌曲《朋友》《明天会更好》以及《中国功夫扇》等节目。精彩的表演赢得了现场嘉宾的阵阵掌声。孔子学院志愿者教师们还精心准备了书法、剪纸、中国结、太极拳。京剧等中国传统文化体验项目，以及中文教学资源展示，吸引了在场嘉宾师生争相体验、亲身感受中国语言和文化的魅力。随后，现场嘉宾移步教室，共同聆听了由何塞阿巴德桑托斯公立中学本土汉语教师玛丽安带来的汉语公开课《你家在哪里》。玛丽安老师精心设计了课堂导入。知识点讲解和情景操练等环节，六十名学生积极参与，得到在场嘉宾的高度评价。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。来了，今天那边。我们三宝，我们个改变个变内，一道不是 class， 那用二道，我们带有在 culture center， 那石景山 district， 一道在北京，一道蛮容易上 internet famous site， the rainbow staircase， 一道爱那啥 outdoor platform， 在个龙巴拉巴，那 culture center， 那石景山 district， 俺不用哈个单，爱比你大汉，那比东过来，那把哈卡里，阿卡巴个马二道，俺把那混。马基基达，俺六百个顺，能不能过来？啥阿塞尔龙布蹦，能过山里？哪怕卡斯蒂，能提升又能布蹦。大黑麦罗伊东，马甘当平淡能萨拉米，萨图克托克。坎伯纳布蹦，那比努布奥，那么个麦托沃伯特，阿蒂巴巴。卢宾萨萨比，俺卡比，比努布克山，俺们个伊劳萨布蹦。卡巴库马索克，阿们阿图里斯塔，在 outdoor platform， 阿图米阿拉，巴雷巴雷好，阿卡尼朗 reaction， 哇哦！不过在 outdoor platform， 马基基达林，萨马希吉，阿巴纳邦里邦麦德罗古阿德拉东 culture center， 阿比纳卡隆 museo，exhibition hall，art gallery， 阿克拉丹。
Public Welfare Theater, Adibaba, San Museo no Shijingshan District, na ibababa dito sa mga turista ang kasaysayan ng distrito na kaya ng pinakmulan ng pangalang Shijingshan. Pwede rin pagmastan dito ang mga cultural relic na natukalasan sa distrito. Sa mga art gallery at exhibition hall naman, pwede ma-enjoy ng mga tao ang iba't ibang exhibition ng kaligrabiya, pinta, intangible cultural heritage, pagunlad ng animation films sa China, at tourist attractions. Ang akladan ng culture center ay bukas 24 oras. Ibig sabihin, kahit kailan at anong oras na ising humiram, magbasa at magsahuli ng mga libro, walang problema. Maliban dyan, mapapanood din dito ang mga pelikula at palabas at libre ang lahat ng ito para sa mga mamamayan. Limang pelikula sa loob ng Sahara, totally free of charge. Dahil sa magandang disenyo, malaking espasyo, samusaring aktibidad at libreng pagbisita, maraming tao ang bumubunda sa Culture Center ng Shijingshan District para bumasyal, makrelax at kumuha ng literato. Ito ay isa sa mga Rekomendadong pasyalan sa Beijing. Okay, siya nagtatapos ang bisita ko ngayon. Ito po muli si Kras. Kita kin sa susunod. And now I'm finishing today with a plant-based producer's iced coffee. Mmm, I love it. The richness of the coconut cream and some popcorn. That's it, guys. I had so much fun here at Cinema 76 Cafe and the cinema as well. Talagang grabe. I really love the concept here. You've got good food and you can also watch cinema at a really cozy theater room. I hope you enjoyed today as much as I did. Once again, I'm your host, Candice Tan. Thank you so much for watching Chinatown TV. I hope you liked our episode for today. See you again next week for another episode of Freijong Tianshitai. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!